by C. Combuzzo Moyo the Z for annual general meeting that was scheduled to be held in Harare. On Saturday, failed to take place for unexplained reasons and the National Association now says the Indaba has now been rescheduled to February 2018. Zifa President Philip Chiyangwa left, stresses a point. During a press conference while his deputy Omega C. Banda looks on it is believed the AGM could not take place due to Zifa's failure to give the constitutionally mandated 60-day notice to its councillors. Zifa Chief Executive Officer Joseph Mamutsi's notice had 20 items on the agenda. The Zimbabwe Football Association General Assembly's annual general meeting held on 16 December was adjourned to a later date next year. Members of the Zifa Council proposed and agreed that a fresh notice will be circulated for an AGM to be held in February 2018 where issues on the adjourned meeting's agenda will be deliberated, said the association's communications manager Zolazani Questler in a statement. The AGM was among other things expected to make a decision on the suspension of Highlanders. Chairman Peter Dube Dube was suspended for allegedly breaching the Zifa constitution but has not been given an opportunity to defend himself. The postponement of the AGM effectively means Dube cannot contest the Highlanders' elections set for early February. Meanwhile, Zifa President Philip Chiang was said the association had initiated legal proceedings to compel the previous CIFA executive led by Cuthbert Dube to offset the $7 million debt that has resulted in some of its properties being attached by creditors. The association advises that it has initiated legal processes to compel the previous executive committee to amortize the over $7 million debt which they recklessly incurred during the term of office. Read the Zifa statement, the Chronicle previous post pirate taxes continue to wreak havoc in Bulawayo next post. Soul Brothers in BYO festive gig support Nihanda Radio Natia.